Business Brain, the show for entrepreneurs, episode 437 for Wednesday, April 5th, 2023. (music) Greetings, folks, and welcome to, welcome back to Business Brain, the show where we take our business brains, and I mean collectively our, not just mine and Shannon's, but yours too. And we apply them to all kinds of things in our lives to help make ourselves a little more efficient. Sponsors for this episode include Thinkific Plus, this awesome training platform. You can get a month free at thinkific.com slash business brain. And also factormeals.com slash brain 50, where you're going to use code brain 50 to get 50% off your first box of these ready to eat meals, never frozen, always fresh. We'll talk more about both of those in a minute here for now here in Durham, New Hampshire, midweek. I'm Dave Hamilton. <laughs> and out in sunny California, I'm Shannon Jean. How are you, man? I'm doing all right. Hey, uh, I got a thing. Okay. As, as you might imagine. So as happens, you have, I was going to say you have a little bit of success and this happens, but It really just happens if you make it known that you are running your own business okay, and and not failing, right? Uh, Although we always fail. Like like there is failure left and right that happens, but, you know, mixed in with that is some success. So running your own business, people come to you. People come to me. I'm sure people come to you. People come to all of us. And and they say, hey, uh, I have an idea. I have a thing I'm doing. I would love to get your opinion. I would love to get your advice. Sometimes they they say a version of, I would love for you to sprinkle your magic fairy dust on my uh, idea, you know, thing, whatever it is, and make it a success. And that's great. That's flattering. It's awesome. And uh, I highly recommend that you find a way to say yes to this, folks. However. Yeah. It's one of the reasons why I, I, I wanted to start this show. Mm-hmm. Was to share that that knowledge, right? But it sounds like there's a, a little more to what you're talking about. There is because yeah. what often happens is is that of some version of that fairy dust comment. Now nobody has ever asked me to spread fairy dust on their business, but what they do ask is, I don't know how to make this successful. You have made other things successful. How are you going to help me make my idea successful? And the answer, of course, is in, in general, there, there is no such thing as fairy dust. At least I don't know about it. It's generally hard work and, uh, you know, just grinding it out and finding, the, the, you know, figuring out what the, the actual business is and then just go and put the blinders on and do it every day for a couple of years. And then let's talk. Right. And if I said but. yes to every opportunity where that happened, I'd have to work somewhere between 80 and a hundred hours a day. Yeah. And I don't have 80 to a hundred hours a day, Shannon. I don't really even want to work that much in a given week, although there are some weeks when I do. And so I, I want to get your take. Do, do you get people that say this to you? And and then I also want to talk about how to take those conversations and, and guide them down a path That is both going to be productive for the person who's asking and for me. So mutually productive. Okay. But also not going to make me find myself in the position where I'm just running somebody else's business for. Well, and and is this something that you would want to monetize at a certain point? Oh, well, yes. I I mean, if somebody asked me to be involved in their business, I, I, I have an expectation. I mean, look. Yes. If if, I I want to make this clear to listeners of the show, if you write in and you have an idea and you want our opinion on it, we are going to give you, uh, you know, we're going to reply to that email and not charge you a thing. Like there's, there's no world where that's the case. However, if that conversation proceeds and there's now seven emails and it sounds like we're about to go into business together, I, I want, I want some part of the take. If I'm part of this, I, I want something to, that's the tough part. Is that's how, the t- you, how do you change the dynamic yeah. at that point? How do you 
morph the conversation, right? I mean, is that yeah, yeah. Mentoring is great, offering, you know, tips and ideas. We do it here every week. And we obviously we enjoy talking about business and and one of the reasons we shifted the name over to business brain is because we felt like we apply that to various aspects of our life. And I I think the question is if you want to, how you then make that leap to, okay, I'm I'm going to be a paid consultant, analyst, some sort of thing for you to help your business. Ooh, that means I get to tell you about our sponsor. And hey, look, this spring you need nutritious, convenient meals to energize you for warmer, active days and keep you on track reaching your goals. Factor, our sponsor, and America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit can help you fuel up fast with ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time, you'll eat well, you'll tackle everything on your to-do list, making it into your to-did list. Because with Factor, you get to skip the trip to the grocery store and also skip the chopping, prepping, and cleaning up, too. Factor's fresh, never-frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. All you have to do is heat and enjoy and then get back outside and soak up the warmer weather. Lisa and I had some Factor meals the other night. We had to move a hinge on our refrigerator. It was a big fiasco. It took us like two hours. We thought it was going to take 30 minutes. It was super nice to have those Factor meals ready in literally two minutes. And they're delicious. They have meals and menus to fit a variety of lifestyles from keto to calorie smart, vegan and veggie, protein plus. You can cut back on takeout and get Factor instead. Head to factormeals.com slash brain50 and use code brain50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code brain50, B-R-A-I-N-5-0 at factormeals.com slash brain50 to get 50% off your first box. And our thanks to Factor for sponsoring this episode. Listen, your business is growing and customers love what you're doing. And to keep them coming back, you need to engage them at every level. And that's where our sponsor, Thinkific Plus, is essential. Thinkific Plus provides businesses like all of ours with a powerful, easy-to-use educational platform that keeps our customers, vendors, partners, and employees informed and trained. And informed and trained people keep coming back, right? So many businesses and organizations rely on Thinkific Plus today, like Hootsuite, for example, right? One of the world's most widely used social media management platforms. They use Thinkific Plus to host their online training site, Hootsuite Academy, with online courses on social media marketing and platform training. And since launching with Thinkific Plus, they've trained and certified nearly half a million of their customers in social media marketing. And because of that, their academy has allowed them to build long-term relationships with their customers, reduce churn, and increase the number of customers who become active brand advocates. When your customers win, your business wins too. I know your business and customers can benefit from Thinkific Plus as well. Start educating your customers at scale. And right now, because you're a listener of Business Brain, you get a free month of Thinkific Plus when you go to our special URL, thinkific.com slash businessbrain. Get your free month of Thinkific Plus at thinkific.com slash businessbrain. And our thanks to Thinkific Plus for sponsoring this episode. All right. So Shannon, I laid out the problem. People yeah. want opportunity. Uh, uh, it, it, yes, there is opportunity <laughs> on the table, but there's yeah. also the opportunity to fail miserably, not just in the business yeah. venture that you're about to embark upon, but in the way you organize your relationship with the business venture you're about to embark upon. Cause I know it's not just me. I know it's not just you. I know I have, we have listeners here who are nodding their heads. Like, yeah, how do I do this? Cause I like if a friend comes, I'm happy yep. to give them advice for for nothing. Of course, of course, for yeah, a little it, while. But yes, for a little while. But and, at some point, you, I think if uh, you, you you're gonna have to lay something out, put something together, a package of a little information that you can provide to somebody. Like, oh, this is great. I'm glad to help. After a certain point, I do. Pr- this is part of my business that I would be glad to help you. Here's how it works. Oh, right? so like like Dave Hamilton, the advisor business. Yeah. Dave, so because I have my Dave the Nerd consulting business that, where I help people with their computers. But that's yep. not just consulting with their computers. That's actually doing the work a lot of the yeah. times. This you, is Dave the advisor, advisor business. Oh. Yeah, I like that. But, but I think you have to 
have that conversation. And maybe even in the beginning, it's just a casual, oh, I'd love to help you talk. You're just kind of going. And then at, if it goes beyond that, or they ask you, oh, do you, you know, I, I'd love to talk to you on a regular basis. I'd love, can you come by my office? Can we do a Zoom call? Then I think if you had some kind of packet that you could give them or like, oh yeah, I do this, jump on my website at, you know, shannongene.com slash advi advising or whatever. And, yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. here's how this works. And here's the thing. Cause I think what I struggle with on it is how the compensation works. How much time do you give them? I, I've, I've not done consulting, but I've had these questions. I have done it, but not uh, charged for it. Like you're, you know, we're talking of about. Of course. It. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And so, I mean, if you're a business consultant advisor and you'd love to uh, share your story with us, feedback at businessbrain.show so you can educate Dave and I on how to take that step and, and or, you know, Dave's question, how, uh, what's the best way to do it? Because your time is the most important thing. Yeah. So you have to be very protective of that. And the you only may way, some... the only way I've done it, and it's really, it, it's going to sound strange because I've had phenomenal success, a few phenomenal successes with this path, and then several mediocre failures and a couple of terrible failures with this path is by saying, okay, I, you know, I, if I'm going to be involved as an advisor, you know, whatever that role is. Yes. And define that role by golly is yeah, that's very important. Yeah. Is that I get a piece of the business, you know, I, I get cut yeah. in with equity or you and, give them that. Yeah. You've done that, that each time. Did you ever bring up, okay, or I want this, this type of compensation. No, or I've only okay. ever done it with equity equity. And, yeah. and, and equity, like I said, there have been some phenomenal successes that I have had yeah. by, by going down the equity path. But there are also tons of scenarios where I've basically made nothing and and a couple of one in particular that ended in a fiery lawsuit and cost me a ton of time and money. And it was a freaking disaster just because I was brought in to apply my expertise, which, by the way, I did. Yeah. So, you know, like and I was right, which is why they weren't happy with me in the end, because I told them some things about themselves that they didn't want to hear. And then they sued me it's and part of your stupid. job as an advisor, it was though, literally yeah. my, what they brought me in for. Yeah. Yeah. That, anyway, that, that but I ran up point. Up. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, but you want to be able to, if, if this packet or info, this, if, you know, uh, it's almost like a working agreement, but you're saying, this is what I can do for you. Here's how the compensation works. And, you know, I may be telling you things you don't want to hear. Uh, yeah. and that's very important that they would understand that. Um, you would think but, anyone would under, I, I think yeah, my, I, and I'm processing this. I'm, 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 you know, I'm, I'm, I'm coming around on this, but I think this it was a, a unique situation. It was someone yeah. that was not okay. ready to hear. They just wanted somebody to tell them you're so s special and smart and all of this. And it, it obviously there that, were parts yeah. of it that they weren't great at like all of us. So, uh, yeah, they didn't want to hear that, but anyway, yeah. I move on. Um, yes, but I, I do like this, um, that I still struggle with how you have yeah. this conversation. Cause if you st say it up front, if somebody asks for your advice, okay, there's, there's two ways I see this sure. going. Someone just asks for your advice. You start helping them, this kind of thing. That's one scenario. And at some point you would need to interject, Hey, uh, I'm happy to help you, but beyond a certain point. I do this for a living or as yeah. part of my maybe my maybe the stack. I mean that part I'm used to. I don't know why I've never applied it here. Maybe it's because in some ways I still feel like I'm I'm kind of a uh you know faking it like I'm a fraud at, no. at being a business owner. I I know that from the outside world I'm not. But in right. in my own brain right. it's like well I yeah. just make it up every time so yeah. uh, who why would you That's want my right. advice, right? But yeah. when when a friend asks me for help with their computer, right, which is something where I have already decided I am able to provide value, right? Yes. And been paid by the hour for this job. When a friend may ask, for, ask me for help, or if one of you emailed and asked for help either directly or through our Mac Geek Gap thing, I'm happy to do it, right? I love it. Of course. But yep. at a certain point, we go back and forth. We're now at email number seven on the same issue. And it's like, yeah. hey, we probably want to get on the phone and here's how I charge for here's that. How it works. 
And then you never hear from them again. No, no, no. Most of the time <laughs> I, I do. Most of the time yeah, they're like, yeah. okay, yeah, I want to pay you for that's this. Cool. Like, that's right. Good. No, but okay. So that's scenario that's one. That's the key. But yeah. like, why? Why have I never thought to apply that to these scenarios? Like, hey, yeah. I'm an expert at this too. Yep. Or I have some expertise. I it's still, even right now I have trouble saying I'm an expert at that. But I have some expertise. I have some experience. At Obvious. Least. Yeah, experience is what what you're talking earlier about. You know, the day to day grind and everything. What what you're what people are coming to you for is they're trying to save time and learn. From yeah. your mistakes. They want a shortcut. Things that you've done. They want yeah. shortcut. And that's fine. But, I've made yeah. a ton so, of mistakes, by the way. <laughs> right. Of course. Yeah. But that's scenario one. The other scenario is you get a phone call from somebody that says, okay, hey, uh, I've listened to your podcast. I read your book. I, I look at your website. Uh, we need some help. We're we're starting a new uh, company over here, and I, and I have a good person you know, that's going to run it, but they need somebody to give them feedback on this and that and the other thing. So that's from the get go. Yeah, you need to figure out, you know, okay, how, how much I, you know, at I would what think, how point much time it's and and yeah. how do I price that? Because I know how to price yeah. my consulting thing. Yeah. It's hundred fifty bucks that an hour, from the right? From the beginning. Oh, great! If you hourly, or you could say, look, I want, uh, you know, my attorney charges three hundred bucks an hour. I think I'm smarter than him, so you know, <laughs> why yep. can't I charge that? Or a monthly retainer that includes up to a certain amount of time. Perhaps I love it. Uh, if if you're going to give, you know, five hours a week or whatever it is, and you're going to say, okay, I want X, you know, thousands of dollars per month, or the equity angle. Although I think it's much difficult, it's a longer play as an advisor to get compensated out of the equity. It could be far more valuable, but you just you're putting that uh, the short term oh, putting the risk in. Yes, but you're going to. Uh, uh, Depending upon, I'm thinking the on the Shark Tank guys. It's like, well, yeah, I'll take the equity, but I want a uh, what do they call it when they, you you pay per <laughs> you pay them out. Um, I can't think. I'm a little I'm blanking on the term, but they're going to pay you a piece of every item they sell. Okay? Oh, a percentage. A oh, oh, so yeah, the equity yeah. is coming in, in it immediately, like yeah, it, per yeah, sale. You get it out, and yeah, oh, that kind of interesting. Thing. And yeah, uh, you know, so. It's an interesting thing. We don't have the answers. We haven't done it in a formal manner. Uh, definitely love, you know, our listeners to share how they've done it. Or even if you want to come on the show and talk about how you run your business consulting business, feedback at businessbrain.show. That's right. Feedback at businessbrain.show. And if your email is featured in an episode, you are entered to win a MacBook Air this year. Make sure to check out our sponsors at factormeals.com slash brain50 and thinkific.com slash businessbrain today. Thanks for listening. Keep living that charm life. We'll see you next time. 